When I first started to smoke weed in high school, I would smoke a little too confidently. I really thought highly in my ability to hold my weed and seem like an outwardly functional person. And that overconfidence is how this story starts. Now that I think about it, overconfidence always seems to be the starting place for a lot of my stories. I think I've just got an underdeveloped frontal lobe. Anyways, me and my friends talked the day prior about doing our first wake and bake before school. So I was like, I gotta smoke weed as soon as I awake. And so I did. And I went hard this morning. My philosophy was that I had to smoke enough that it would last the entire school day. So I ripped the fattest bong rips of my life. Not even before I left my bed. I got out of the bed and got to my shower and I just stood under the water for like 20 minutes. This is where I started to think, did I smoke a little too much today? Nah, I think I'm good. I eventually got out of the shower because I started to get munchies for breakfast. You know you're gonna have a crazy day when you get the munchies for breakfast. I then proceeded to eat three entire bowls of peanut butter Captain Crunch. I ate so much, I felt pregnant. It was a lot of cereal. I got out the door and waited for the bus, and once I got on, I started looking around for my boys. Once I found them, the ugly truth came out. All these dudes were sober. I had been duped. I was the only person that had gone through with the plan and I couldn't get off this bus. I had no choice but to face this entire school day way higher than I'd ever managed before all by myself. I felt like a kid who had nobody come to his birthday party. I was, I was alone, dude. To give you an example for how high I really was, the entire bus ride, I just looked at the floor with my eyelids halfway open. I was spacing out of my mind. I felt like I was accepting the warm embrace and darkness of death. Once the bus got to school, I came back to my body and my boys helped me in. We sat in the hallway and before the school day started, these guys were having a whole Socratic seminar around my lifeless body. How the fuck are we supposed to deal with this problem? I mean, we could make him throw up so he's a little more sober. I don't want to throw up. I don't want to lose my cereal. I ate a lot of it this morning. I got next period with him so I could just help him out in class there. All right, that sounds good. We'll just try and ride this out the whole day. And then the bell rang and I'm practically dragged to my first period. We were in a science class and luckily for me, we were having one of those days where we just watch National Geographic and that was about all we did. I sat in the back of the class with my friend, which was being my caregiver for the class. And we had to do these worksheets as we watched through the video, but I ignored them all together. I even remember the exact video we watched this day. It was a documentary about gorillas called Go Ape. And I couldn't contain myself watching this shit, man. I mean, the monkeys and apes are just so silly, dude. In the way that the narrator talked was so seriously about them. It was killing me. He would say some stuff like, She's dependent on the bigger male to keep her safe, though he spends most of his time munching leaves. And I'd be in the back of the class like, <laughs> And the teacher would just look at me down with these shut up eyes. But I mean, look at this. It's still funny while sober. You cannot blame me for this at all. Just look at the way they look. They're so goofy. So the class ended and I went to the next, which I had the same friend in. So once again, I could have my little guardian to make sure nothing bad happens to little old me. After watching Go Ape, I was feeling good. <laughs> Normally, I would be anxious about getting caught high at school but this video just put me in the right mindset or maybe it was just that i was too high i couldn't feel negative emotions i don't know anyways we get to the next class and it's math so the subject is a little more involved but again i was chilling my friend had to carry all of the stress going in here which i love him for doing if it went for him i would have been done for thank you very much 20 minutes into the class i've got a royally poo in the toilet because of all the milk I drank this morning. So I raised my hand and the teacher is just ignoring me. And in all this time, the anticipation builds in my head for how I'm going to communicate that I need to go. I just decide this anticipation doesn't feel good. So I get up and walk out of the class. I do my business. And as I'm walking out of the bathroom, some kid is approaching me that the teacher had sent to go and get me. You got to go back to class, man. 
All right. I get back to the class and the teacher's like, What do you think you're doing leaving my classroom? And I pull out the classic, I threw it up card and I get sent to the nurse. So I got to leave the class again, but I'm not going to lie. I don't go to the nurse. I just go back to the bathroom and sit on the toilet until lunch. Now, this whole time I'm on the toilet, I'm thinking of a way that I can get out of school before lunch is over. I didn't feel sick at all and I wasn't about to make myself throw up. So my great plan that I had thought up was to go onto Google Images and find an image of a toilet with vomit in it. I know it's gross, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I found the right image that looked identical to the school bathroom and I showed the image to the nurse and I was like, I've, I'm sick. I gotta have my mom. I need my mom to pick me up. So my mom comes and picks me up. I won't lie. I felt like I had outsmarted the schooling system this day. That win really stroked my ego. I went home and I just played Fortnite all day and it was a massive W because I don't take no L's ever. I imagine my friends that day were pretty confused because I had just disappeared. You know, they eventually found out. <laughs> all right, that's a story. Bye-bye.